what a lineup of strong men. Herod Badenhorst is the strongest man in Africa. He was fourth last year and is determined to challenge for the major honors. Harold Einbeck Collins is a full-blooded North American Indian with a body weight of over 300 pounds. In his first world contest, this makes him a formidable opponent. Manfred Herbel was born in the same town as his hero Arnold Schwarzenegger. His physique is awesome. He's got the biggest biceps in the world. Riku Kiri continues Finland's great tradition in World's Strongest Man. At 145 kilos, he's the heaviest man here. Magnus Ver Magnusson knows what it takes to win and lose. He was champion in 1991 and was just one point short of victory last year. Henrik Raven is the smallest man in the contest, but what he lacks in stature, he makes up with rugged determination and a tremendous will to win. Gary Taylor is one of the most experienced men here and one of the most talented. He breathes fire every time he competes and he's looking very fit indeed. The Ren Venenberg's qualification for Orange was by far the most difficult. He had to beat the reigning world's strongest man, Ted van der Parder, in the Dutch Championship. He has to start very low, and this year there's a rope to haul yourself along, so this really is a test of all-round strength and not just body weight. And there's even some barrels on the back of the lorry to make it heavier, as if seven tons wasn't enough. Harrod finished fifth in this event last year, and he's making progress. The front of the vehicle must cross the white line. 27.55 seconds, so the gauntlet is down in this year's contest, and already the herbal, and already he's becoming a favorite with the crowd. He's a great showman, but this is where it gets very serious indeed. Ready? Take the strain. Manfred is Austria's strongest man, and you can see why. I'm sure he's going to put those 26-inch arms to good use. Remember, 27.55 seconds is the target. Just look at the effort. He's very mobile for such a big man. It's fast. 24.6 seconds. It's the first time it's ever been used. But if one man can get it right, it's Magnus Ver Magnussen. Second equal with England's Jamie Reeves last year. Jamie, who's recovering from injury at the moment. He just gave a little nod there to signify he's ready, and it looks like a smooth start. The legs trying to drive hard, just like Linford Christie would do from a pair of starting blocks. Not so fast, of course, but just as impressive. Now those powerful arms pulling. I bet they're burning now. It's going to be close to Taylor's time, 25.87. Not quite, but good enough for third at the moment. 